What is going on, y'all? Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Today we have a breakfast at work, so I did not have to spend time this morning eating breakfast. So I should be at work early. Keyword should. Now I think we'll, we'll be fine. We're already like uh, the Prospect Heights. 8.33 in the morning. I think we're chilling. Prospect Heights is where we're rolling through now and Park Slope, especially Park Slope, are so family oriented communities and it kind of makes me sick. I don't know why. <laughs> I just felt the need to get that off my chest. I don't know how people are outside of New York City. I see, I only see this shit in Brooklyn, right? But first we have to wait for this red light. All right, here we go. So, I notice people in Brooklyn, parents in Brooklyn, always walk around with their kids like their kids are so high and mighty. And I believe Scrag talked about this some time ago. Is Scrag retired? Is he a retired cycle vlogger? Maybe. I remember he spoke about this, how people treat their kids like they're so special. I think this was because of the solar eclipse and a lot of schools didn't want to take the kids outside because they, they didn't want the kids looking at the sun. I'm like, the kids do that shit now. I mean, what's the problem? But only here in Brooklyn do I notice people act like the kids are so high and mighty and important. But I think that's actually bad for kids because then they learn that they're not so important and they become like school shooters. <laughs> I don't know. It's a terrible joke. Maybe there's a little truth behind it. There's truth behind all jokes. I don't know. That's a weird morning thought that I had. Guys coming out into traffic. We're gonna slide right on through. It's a nice day today. It was rainy and cold and windy yesterday. I didn't think it was cold. That's just me though. This guy's turning left. Let's go. Come on. You got it. I didn't really think it was that cold, but then again, I ride my bike in the winter time, so. What are you doing, lady? Doing weird shit. No turn signals. Yeah, I guess I'm just used to riding in the cold. It's right now 55 degrees, wearing a t shirt in a long sleeve jersey, which really ain't all that thick, so. But this guy's wearing shorts and a t-shirt way up there. All right, I'm not that bad. Light is green up ahead. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but we are gonna try. Fourteen to go, so we are good. We'll just cruise it out. Got some traffic up ahead. It's that time of year when your nose is running. Oh man. Man, got a good headwind today, man. Good means, you know, major, not helpful. Isn't that cold, man?
It's a nice VM. Really nice. He's the man inside is dressed sharply as well. Acura TL, a boss of mine used to have that car. And uh, he wouldn't drive it a whole lot. This is actually a funny story about that car. So when I was in college, I worked at my old high school. I think I've told this story a few times. So this guy's retired now, so I guess I could uh, rank on him a little. <laughs> Not even cool dude, we, we still talk actually. So he had an Acura TL and he would almost never drive it. He wouldn't drive it to work. He would drive his old 97 Avalon. So his son got his driver's license. His son attended school up in Rochester. The son needed a car. So he gives his son the 97 Avalon, which is great on gas. And my boss, he starts driving the TL to work every day. Now my boss lives in Rockland County, worked in Harlem. He told me he was dropping like a buck 30 a week on gas. I was like, what the hell, man? It's an okay car, but Jesus Christ. Long story short, they don't make the TL anymore. They don't make the RX anymore. They now make the TLX. I mean, it's a decent car. At the time, that screen was huge, the navigation screen. This is 2000, I don't know. I think it was a 2009, he bought it brand new. And I started working there in 2010. Good times, man, good times being a college worker. I had this conversation with a coworker of mine, how like, as your career goes on, you make more and more money, but you're not necessarily happier. I had good times back then. I wouldn't say that I'm sad now, but I look back at those times and just laugh. Maybe one day I'll look back at these times and kind of laugh at it. I'm not laughing now, though. All clear. in Manhattan there's some crazy ass wind on that bridge man wind coming hard from the right
right guys this is me sub to the channel if you like like the video if you like this one and i will see you guys later